the conventional deadlift. We will start with stance. Your stance should be slightly narrower than the stance for the back squat. 12 to 15 inches is about right for most trainees. A good rule of thumb is to set your stance at the width you would have to jump as high as you could. Before taking a grip on the bar, you want to make sure you have the bar in the right position relative to your body. A good rule of thumb is to look down at your feet when you're at the bar. The bar should be dividing your feet in half. This should leave two inches or so between your shins and the bar. Now bend down and grasp the bar with either an alternated or pronated grip. In this video, we're going to use a pronated grip. You should also be using a closed grip with your fingers on one side of the bar and your thumbs on the other. The grip should be just outside of your shins. As you bend down, your shins will angle slightly forward and touch the bar. From here, you want to tighten up. Accomplish this by lifting your chest nice and high. Brace your torso by flexing your abs and your lower back. In a nutshell, you want to tighten every muscle head to toe, including your grip. You don't want to be flexing or extending your neck either, so you will be looking slightly downward and in front of you. In this starting position, your shoulders will be slightly ahead of the bar, the bar will be under your shoulder blades, the knees will be slightly ahead of the bar, and the bar will be touching your shins. The deadlift is nothing more than bending down and picking something heavy up from the floor using biomechanically safe posture. However, don't be fooled into thinking about lifting the torso straight up. Instead, focus on pulling, the ba pulling backwards with your torso. The path the bar takes should be straight up your legs. As you pull, your arms should remain locked and straight. Drive with your heels and pull with your back. If the bar is positioned properly, the force of the pull will go up your back to your shoulder blades and down your arms as you pull. There are three angles you need to keep in mind when executing the deadlift. The angle of your knee, the angle of your hips, and the angle of your torso. You start by opening the angle of your knees while maintaining the other two angles. Once the bar clears the knees, keep focusing on pulling up and back while contracting your glutes to drive your pelvis towards the bar. This will open up the hip and torso angles. At the top, stand nice and tall, but don't extend your back too much. To set the bar down, simply reverse the order. Close your hip and torso angle, which will lower the bar past your knees. Continue lowering the bar to the floor by bending your legs once the bar clears the knees. The deadlift is a complex lift. There are numerous errors that we've seen. We'll highlight five of them here. One, dropping your butt and hips too low in an attempt to squat the bar up or push the bar off the floor with your legs. Two, starting with the bar too far in front of you. When this happens, the bar path will not straighten up. It will first come inward toward the body and then straight up. Three, letting your lower back round as you pull. Don't do this unless you want to injure yourself. Four, letting your hips rise faster than your torso. Five, overly extending your back at the top of the movement.